Hey heroes, we recently did a survey about the future of Cosmic Collision and how you guys wanted the product to be released. So here are the results. I said I'd support it this week and give you guys all the results. Here we are on Friday. So out of the 225 responses, did you back Nostalgics in 2021? We had 38% saying no, 61% saying yes. So a lot of new players in here. Uh, did you back the Cosmic Collision? A lot of people said no. And about the same number of new players said yes. Very interesting one here. So we'll get into that. There's another question later. Where would you rank your interest in purchasing a booster box? A lot of people like the idea of a booster box. A couple people did not. What about a master collection where you just get every card all at once? Interestingly, more people said yes on this than they did on this. Obviously it scales up. There's a lot of people down here that are like, no, I want to chase it. But definitely some interest up here. Uh, what about an elite hero box where you get five packs and a community promo card? A lot of people said no, which was interesting because it's a cheaper way to get into the game, but maybe the price was a little bit too high. And then it starts to kind of teeter off here. Generally middling response. Uh, what about a versus battle deck featuring metal level decks? Generally spread. I would consider this a wash like the top three are basically tied. Not really sure what to take from that, but I'm going to say maybe. Maybe to this. Maybe to this. I, I'm not really sure what to take on this one, but it seems like booster box is probably still the way to go. So we get down. Given the choice, which would you prefer for the new sets to be released? Um, most people said they want a booster box. A surprisingly high amount said an entire set at once. And then this one said 20 new cards every month, kind of releasing the booster box in a shards pattern. So it seems like booster box is still preferred for everybody for the way to go. And then assuming we open a custom card store, what would you guys want? Um, almost everybody wanted the flat silver foil alternate arts. That's kind of our bread and butter for the custom cards. It kind of trickles down from there. We got custom packs featuring artists. I still like that idea. Uh, UV prints, metal cards. People really like the metal cards. And then a few people randomly typed in their responses too, which is fine. There was another on there. Uh, some said none of the above, and one-offs said textured cards, transparent cards, jumbo cards. Um, I think you're good. The thickness would worry me in sleeves. Somebody was like, this dilutes the value! And it's like, you know, maybe, but maybe not. Uh, the custom cards we had in the past, people are selling them for more than we sold them at the time. It was very interesting. Uh, clothes of y'all's art serialization. I would not purchase anything. Texture cards. Light boxes, shadow boxes, hand sketched artist cards. That'd be actually kind of cool. Uh, art books, phone charms. There's just a lot of ideas in here, but generally people seem open to the idea of custom products, which is something that we're looking at potentially digging into. I would like to offer these kind of one off things because I don't think it dilutes the value at all. I think it actually increases the value. And outside of that, I really don't give a, a hoot. I'm not gonna swear on this video. I really don't give a hoot if uh, the value of an individual card, you know, goes down from a booster box. There's so many out there. Obviously the golden frogs and the ones where we know they're rare, we're gonna keep those rare. But if you're making an alternate art of a Mimicus or like a holographic Valkyrian, you know, that's a one-off card. You can make that custom that we actually do a kickback to the artist that designed the card. So it's a great way to get a new artist, which one of these people actually mentioned, like more artists. So, I'm into this. I'm going to dig into this. I'll probably try to get the UV printer working again here soon. And then we'll launch a site where you can purchase the individual cards. And it'll be from artists and the artists will get a kickback. Which will get a lot more people interested in that. Um, as far as gem, what would it take to have you participate in an organized play event every two weeks? Most people wanted a free pack and a promo and points. That was the green. That they wanted all the above. Uh, the next highest one was an exclusive promo for each event they attend. This one says, I just want to play against others. I'll join an event without being incentivized, which I really appreciated. You know, that was like the highest one outside of these two, which was pretty cool to see. Um, I'd like points to trade in for stuff. And this one was just like, I want a free pack for each game I play. But most people wanted everything, which I agree. That'd be great. Um, assume we offer a bounty system for getting new stores into the direct distribution program. What would you guys want? Uh, most people said they wanted an exclusive product featuring one or more like 
stamps or you know exclusive cards for getting people into the game and i agree that'd be great you guys get one the store gets one for getting them on board that's a cool idea um a booster case of the set was the next one which is crazy you guys are wild equal to that is a booster box so some people are like you know what that's enough some people are like give me a case this one says half the first sale uh this one says one hour video and then everybody else typed in individual ideas. We looked through them all. There was a couple of good ones. I like the idea of an ambassador stamped card. That's pretty sweet. Uh, down here, we make a novel. What would you like to see? Um, and to be clear, something like this, we would basically have an author, and we've already had an author come forward and be like, hey, I'd like to make a novel for your guys' world. Can you give, us me, give me some background? I already know quite a bit from all the stories you guys put online. And it wouldn't impact us at all day to day. This is something where somebody makes the book and takes a portion of the sales of it. And we take a portion of the sales of it and that's it. Like it doesn't impact us. So uh, I had a couple comments like, ah, oh, not interested, focus on the game. Yeah, obviously, like that's kind of our job, right? But this would expand the lore and kind of give the world a reason to exist. So it was interesting to see. And with that, that is all the feedback you guys submitted. Uh, there was one more question, like, why didn't you back the Kickstarter? I read all those, and a lot of it came down to the timing. The timing of being around the holidays, and everybody kind of being broke, and the economy kind of sucking, honestly, right now. And I think due to those reactions, we're going to delay the launch of this until next year. January is always extremely slow, but I'm thinking late January, early February will be our next actual launch of Cosmic, and we'll do it on the website or possibly on BackerKit. BackerKit reached out and they wanted to do a launch program with me and kind of, they wanted to do a launch program with me and actually like launch the product through BackerKit so that you guys can get it through there and they can advertise it to their backers on other games, not just like TCGs, but board games. So maybe if you back to Gloomhaven and you show an interest in something like this, BackerKit would kick it to you too. So that's, that's tempting because that reaches far beyond our organic reach. Whereas if I just put it on the website on like, you know, Merch Arena, maybe one or two people would come into that organically from outside of our community, but not many. Whereas Backer Kit, we could get hundreds or thousands of new people seeing the game for only a 10% conversion cost. So Backer Kit actually converts a backer from their list. They take 10% off the top. And that's pretty good. Like, I mean, that's a solid conversion into our community. And we just had the biggest event ever at Black Wolf. Bad Wolf. Black Wolf? I'm thinking of Game of Thrones too much. We just had the biggest event ever at Bad Wolf. And I think the community is still growing. So it's, like, really cool to see. But in the meantime, I'm going to be making more products. I can't even talk. This is too early. I'm going to be making more products for the launch in late January, early February. So you guys will be seeing the alternate secret shards that I've been talking about, the quarterly ones or the seasonal ones. Um, I've got a holiday pack that I'm going to use as like a way to play the game differently. And I've talked about this at length um, at local events. But just to tell you guys on the video here, we're going to be making a pack where it's different cards representing different holidays. And it adds a new element to play. It's just an optional thing you can do. But it's like a deck in the center that flips an arena out every turn. And this arena changes the game rules, you know, every other turn for players. So maybe this turn everybody's got charge and you don't have to evolve or something. Or this turn everybody is an earth type and spells cost two more. Like something crazy like that, but we're going to mess with the rules a bit and give you guys another fun way to play. Or maybe this turn, you know, you have a boss in the center and both people have to fight that boss. It'll be fun. But look forward to that. We'll have a lot more of the products developed in time for that late January, early February launch. And um, yeah, I just appreciate all the support and the feedback. Thank you so much for that. I hope you guys enjoy the 50% off discount by taking the survey. If you didn't yet, I mean, I'll leave the survey up through the end of the year. Feel free to hop in there. You can still get a gift in time for Christmas. Spread the games, spread the love. And I appreciate you all. All right. I am now either going to get coffee or finally go to the doctor. I have had that like chest cough for eight days now. So I'm going to go heal up. I'm going to use a Phoenix down and just like get back to my, my lively self. You can tell my voice is still fried, but I hope you guys have an amazing week and we'll talk again before Christmas. 
All right, Zaba out.